Hello and welcome back to The Stack and here are today's top stories. The first story, there has been a horrific human tragedy. There are at least 46 dead bodies that were found in a semi-truck abandoned in Texas. Governor Greg Abbott is placing these deaths on Joe Biden because it was a tractor and trailer packed with illegal immigrants. So this is Joe Biden's border crisis playing out in real time. This is tangible evidence of what Joe Biden's border crisis has created. Joe Biden's border crisis has killed now 50 people. And that's that's just in one incident. That doesn't count all the other people that have been killed at the hands of Joe Biden's border crisis. So I, I really do think Biden is to blame for this incident. And Biden has blood on his hands. Doing the right thing now would be him shutting down the border, stopping the invasion, but he won't do that. And instead, we will see more people invading the United States and more people dying at the U.S. border. This is a terrible incident, and it is directly tied to Joe Biden. The second story, more Biden failures. The French president was caught on camera giving Biden some painful news about his oil strategy. You know, Biden has refused to unleash American energy during this gas price crisis and this oil crisis in America. Joe Biden, every step of the way of his presidency, has been anti-American energy. Everything from canceling the Keystone Pipeline on day one to ending new oil and gas leases Joe Biden is simply anti-American energy. So how has he wanted to deal with the gas price issue? Well, he has wanted an increase in oil production from the, some of the, I think from the UAE, yeah, from the UAE. Well, the French president, Emmanuel Macron said that he had a call with the leader of the UAE and they are not going to produce much more oil, which means that Joe Biden is not going to be able to turn to the UAE for more oil. Joe Biden is going to have to make the choice. Either he produces more American energy or he makes Americans suffer more. But this is a pretty humiliating moment for Joe Biden. I mean, you've got the, the French president calling you out basically in front of the international press and telling you that your oil strategy is bad. That's really embarrassing for Biden. Joe Biden has been a total failure on energy. And I'm not even sure this interaction is going to make him change his oil strategy. And the third story, we're sticking with the Biden theme today. Hunter Biden. Talked a lot here about Hunter Biden. We have covered his shady business dealings, his questionable behavior quite extensively. Well, now there is some new information that came out. There were two stories that came out on Monday, two reports. One of them was the fact that despite numerous denials, his father knew a lot about Hunter Biden's business dealings in China. And the second one was that his father, Hunter Biden's father, Joe Biden, also uh, funded numerous romps with Russian linked prostitutes. Um, so two very different stories, two very important stories. Well, how did Hunter Biden respond to these stories when he was questioned about it? Well, he only had a four word response. He said, what's wrong with you to a news outlet in response? I think that's the question that everyone should be asking Hunter Biden. What's wrong with you after all of his, you know, he, he is sex crazed and you know, he uploads videos to a, a website widely known for human trafficking and he has shady business dealings in China. I think everyone should be asking what's wrong with you, Hunter Biden. Uh, there's a lot of questions that need answered here, and it just shows you that Hunter and Joe Biden are very corrupt. Biden is the most corrupt president in history, and this is who his son is. It should alarm every American and every American should wonder what Joe Biden knows and how corrupt he actually is. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest Hunter Biden news, the latest news on Joe Biden's energy crisis and the latest on the invasion at the southern border, you can head to westernjournal.com and please be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode of The Sack.